Today is August 27th, and once again, I'm back to tell you about the latest items in Halo Infinite Store and determine whether or not they're worth your money. This is the Game Magpies, I'm Magpie Leon, and let's jump straight in. So this week, we do actually have a couple of new bundles to talk about alongside a teaser for Halo Infinite's next operation, but before we can get to those, it's time to talk about the returning bundles. Starting with Perfect Sublimity, this is an armor effect that costs 300 credits and gives you this blue aura around your wrists. For just 300 credits, this is completely fine, but personally, it's not something that I care too much about. Next up, we have the Solar Ascendancy Bundle. This gives you the armor coating of the same name, alongside the Frog Prince Armor Emblem, Nameplate Vehicle Emblem, Weapon Emblem, and the Plasma Core Weapon Charm. This is back for 500 credits, which I believe is 300 cheaper than its original release price. And this is the cheapest we've seen this bundle drop down to. 500 for a Cross Core Coating, an Emblem, and a Weapon Charm, in my opinion, isn't too bad. And our next bundle is Regal Strike. This gives you the Highcom Sentinel shoulder pads, which can now of course be used on every core. You also get the Crystal Gloves, which are pretty decent. You get the Stepping Razor Stance, which is one of the very few where your spawn actually has an Energy Sword equipped. The Violet Gunpowder Armor Coating, and this one's pretty decent. My only personal issue with this one is I feel like there's a few too many colours. I would much prefer it if it was just purple and gold, but instead there's just random blotches of grey and even little bits of green. But anyways, we also have the Heroic Intervention Visor and the Pioneer Group Zeta Emblem. This is back for 900 credits, and for that price, it's not too bad. Cross core coating, some cross core shoulder pads, and some other decent items like the crystal gloves for the Mark 7 core. This is far from the worst bundle we've seen. Our other returning bundle is the biggest of the returning bundles, and that is the Paladin set. This gives you the Paladin helmet for all cores, the Project Goswit helmet attachment, which can only be used on Paladin, I believe. You also get the Garita Omega shoulder pad alongside the Bartizan shoulder pad. Then you also get a chest attachment for the Mark IV core alongside a wrist attachment, utility piece, knee pads, and the Slate Coast armor coating, which can be used on all of your cores. This is the final one of the three Omega team bundles that has returned to the store. Now on sale for 1,400 credits, which I believe is either a reduction of 400 or 200 credits. And I do think this is a much better price for this bundle, but I I do feel like it should have probably been dropped down to the 1200 which I still believe should be the standard pricing for armor bundles. Overall though this is a decent set even if it is my least favorite out of the Omega Team bundles. Of course, the Ghost of Reach and Crime Crusher bundles are both still available and likely will be until the remainder of the Fleetcom event, which will be ending next week. So if you are yet to unlock the Operator Helmet and the various other items available in the Operation Pass, now is the time to do so. And 343 have actually posted the first teaser trailer for the Champions Operation, which is of course the title for the next event that we'll be receiving. The teaser itself isn't anything too special, you see two Spartans, one of which is donning some of the new armor that will be available in this operation. And this actually isn't the first time we've seen this armor either, as some of this was teased during the Banished Honor promotional stuff. But it does look like the two Spartans are standing on what could potentially be a new map, with some people believing it could be Powerhouse. And with that, it's time to move over to our new HCS bundles, which are the new 2024 playoff bundles. And with that out of the way, it is time to move over to the new HCS bundles, which are our only new bundles this week. But there is seven of them to talk about. And the seven are, of course, the new 2024 Cloud9 playoff bundle, the Phase Clan playoff bundle, the Optic bundle, the Sentinels bundle, Space Station Gaming, Complexity and Quadrant. These all cost 1000 credits each and give you both an armor coating that is fully cross core and a weapon coating that is fully cross core. My favorites out of all of these are definitely the Optic one, the Space Station one and the Cloud9 bundle. Space Station is definitely very interesting with its purple galaxy theme. I'm of course a sucker for anything with the black and green color palette and I feel like the new Optic one with that green energy effect that you see a little bit of the tech suit is really cool. And I like the simplicity of the black and gray camouflage that Cloud9 have on theirs. These are of course also just a good way to support your favorite esports team too. And there is still, of course, a few other HCS bundles that are still available, being the 2024 launch bundles. These are the ones that give you the battle rifle weapon model. You have the extermination bundles. And these will give you a sniper weapon model and a kill effect, unless you already own one, in which case you will, of course, just get the kill effect. And then we have the U1 playoff bundles, which were brought back recently and have been updated. So the weapon coatings and armor coatings are now cross core. And with that all out of the way, it's time to move over to this week's Spartan of the Week. This week's theme was suggested by Unintelligible, and the idea was for you to all create ocean-themed Spartans, whether that be based on some ocean fauna or something like a scuba diver or a submarine. 
And the three submissions I have chosen are entries from You Lose, Howling, and Exis. All three of these, I think, did a pretty good job at creating that sort of deep sea diver appearance, while still also just looking like good Spartan builds. Of course, if you want a chance to be featured as Spartan of the Week, make sure to join the Discord. I'll leave a link to that in the pinned comment. And with all that out of the way, thank you all for watching. Let me know if you're excited for the new Champions operation, and I'll catch you all in the next one.